This apartment complex here in Hawthorne is a great example of how you can build something that's bold and contemporary, yet it's still deeply respectful of the past. Phil, talk to me about the brick and what the attraction was. So early on, we were looking for inspiration for design and just looked at mm. the local area. And so we looked into the history of where brick was made and why it was called the Hawthorne Brick. And it's just down the road a little bit where the original factory was. And we thought that was a great connection. The original building here had all those old reds. Yep, it was just a, a Victorian double-fronted shop front. We looked at retaining that originally, but it was quite dilapidated yeah. and needed too much structural input. So, so the next best thing we could think of was to take the bricks away and bring them back and yeah. reuse them. And then, of course, see this is contemporary use of bricks. What, what's the attraction? I guess it's a, it's a humble material. It's a very economical material, mm. and it's a long-lasting material that mm. will be here for a long, long time. We really wanted to remove people from the busy street before they get mm. to the residential entry point and give a more domestic mm. feel. And we thought the Melbourne laneways were mm. a great thing to be inspired by there. So we introduced a laneway to the street and used the old red bricks from the from the original building to create a cobbled yeah. laneway. We looked at using traditional Hawthorne brick because that's what we were reflecting yeah. on, but we felt the simplicity of the form needed a, a, a really blank canvas and the brick just has a depth of interest and variability, mm. but it has a beautiful blank colour to it's it. It's got a slight shine on it, hasn't it? It, it does, it's... and that was deliberate, that slight shine, not too shiny, mm. but it really picks up the screen, so mm. you get the great contrast of where the screen is with black shadow with the slight reflection of sun. So when the sun's on this wall, the other wall yeah. is a completely different colour. And it's, it's good. It does, and you get to this sort of laying pattern here. Tell us about that. It's based on the Flemish bond, and it's really the, the pattern you use for hit and miss brick because mm. you just take out the half bricks and all of a sudden you've got a screen. Yeah. So we thought to use that pattern all the way through yeah. um, was something that would give the walls consistency and, and something and a great for brick texture. layers to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, You've got to keep them busy. <laughs> If you're living in this apartment as a kid and you're coming out here, the hit and miss is something that you're going to love. Because, you know, I always think, what will kids do? And you know, there's little hidey holes so you can put toys in there mm. or you can put little cars in there and stuff. Or you can go play peekaboo. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's a more playful idea. Yeah, it's like, a room for kids to yeah. chuck the car keys out yeah. there so you can't find them. Like, yeah. Where, where's my phone gone? Oh, yeah, bang, straight <laughs> through there. Yeah. There's a balance of materials that the brick works with, the timber and the concrete and the timber veneer inside. But I think the brick is really the key element here. It's the hero of the project, and I think people engage with that. Yeah, do you think people relate to brick in, in terms of the nostalgia? Brick reminds us of the houses we grew up in and our grandparents' homes. They do, and there's, there's just a tactile quality to the brick that people connect with, I think. And it's, it's something that over time you realise it's, it's a good thing to have around. You know, yeah. and you don't have to paint it, yeah. which, is, which is why I love it so much. Yeah. What was, the, what was the original design brief? The original design brief was really just to develop the site with mm. apartments and maybe a shop or two. So I guess the inspiration just came out of just working with the site mm. and, and the materials and the brick. And you imagine it's going to be like Melrose Place, people will be <laughs> hopping into apartments, oh, there'll be so. affairs going on. Well, you never know, there's a, that communal space upstairs hopefully will encourage multiple affairs, yeah. okay, yeah. good to see. Yeah. Good to see.